winter of my junior year of college and I'm heading back for the semester and it's a little different because all of my friends have decided to go study abroad in exotic locations and me and a few other friends are holding it down on campus at University of Maryland. And it didn't take us too long to realize that, you know, we needed to kind of get the hell out of here, book a trip and maybe go see them for spring break. So we booked our itinerary going to Rome and Barcelona and I was just so excited for this trip. I had never been to Europe before and the next couple weeks I just spent my time looking at their social media pictures and looking at the beautiful beaches of Barcelona and the wild clubs they were going to and most importantly the huge dishes of chicken parmesan and pasta that they were having in Rome. Meanwhile, I'm back here at the library studying for midterms and having my third uh, bagel with cream cheese, I think, was the meal of choice for the time. So it was a really enticing trip. I remember clicking confirm and being so excited about going, um, but being a little nervous about the long trip that uh, was ahead of me. And after we trekked all the way to Europe, I was British Airways' biggest fan. My flight was phenomenal. The food was amazing. I had my own TV screen in front of me, which was like wild. I didn't know they had that. And I could pick whatever I wanted to watch. And for me, a little college girl, I was like six hours of it was watching Friends and Ross and Rachel decide whether they were on a break or not. Um, but I, I know I should have known at that part that lightning probably wouldn't strike twice, that for this trip to be that flawless. Um, but it, it didn't matter. I was so excited. I was in Europe. I was finally here but my luggage was not, um, which probably would have been more of an issue if I wasn't traveling with eight other girls and was able to just borrow their clothes for the first two days until my, until my luggage got there. But the trip was amazing and it was really an unforgettable time um, until it was time to make the trek back across the Atlantic once more. Um, my feelings towards British Airways really changed. Um, we go to check into our flight, and there's just a blank page on BritishAirways.com. There's a little logo up in the top corner, and just simple, thin writing that says, All British Airways flights are canceled due to an employee strike. Cheerio! Um, nothing else. That was it. There was no number to call. There was no one to email. There was nothing. So. About two hours of panicked and expensive phone calls to our families back in the States. We finally got another flight. Uh, we had a connecting flight into Munich back to DC. And the flight from Rome to Munich, I don't quite remember because I was just so excited to have actually gotten a flight back. Um, but the flight from Munich to DC, I unfortunately remember rather well because I remember wanting to completely claw my eyes out as I was stuck in the middle seat of the middle row next to people who decided to take up much more of my space and their own. And there was no uh, personal TV. There was you know, a TV every five rows that was playing a 70s Western movie and a 1930s cartoon on a loop for eight hours. So they come by and they pass out the customs information and I'm just you know, doing my own information. And the woman to my left picks up her papers and just puts it on my tray. And I looked at her a little confused and she just blinks at me as if I'm supposed to know what to do. And I put down her tray table and try to show her, no, no, you can do this on your own too. And she's, no, no, no points at me and points down at the forms again. So I gather that she doesn't speak much English and doesn't know how to fill out the forms herself. And hell, I got nothing else to do for the next six hours, so I might as well help a sister out. So I start filling out her information. She's from a Middle Eastern country I had never heard of. I really couldn't decipher which was her first name and which was her last name, but I, I just tried my hardest as she looked on. And all of a sudden, a uh, very picturesque uh, flight attendant comes by, you know, the type that you see in the movies, like real short, cute blonde. And she says, uh, excuse me, ma'am. I don't really remember if she had a southern accent, but I just feel like those type of flight attendants normally do, so we'll just go with it. Um, ma'am, are you, are you filling out her forms? And it dawned on me, like, oh my god, am I doing something illegal? 
am I breaking an international law of some sort and, and they're gonna detain me the second I get to the airport? And she says, no, it's totally fine. I just wanted to say thank you. We have so many passengers forms we have to do and just one is even a huge help. So I sit back completely like, oh my God, the lady to my left clearly understands my panic and wants to say thank you and offers me, I'm not kidding, a handful of seeds <laughs> to say thanks. And I just was like the cherry on top to this ridiculous journey. But after that, I was, I was done with my adventures and I was ready to be home. That was, that was enough feeling and enough anything for, for my travel abroad. So that was my trip. <laughs>